<laughs> all right. Guys, I've been to the mountaintop, and I got something to say, all right? I'm unveiling the new long-term profit goal. Are you guys ready for this? Drum roll, please. This is going to blow your mind, okay? This is what we're going to do. This is good. $30 million? There's only two of us. We made 63000 in gross sales last year. That's everything. Okay, look, I'm a visionary. Okay, what you're witnessing right here, this is leadership. I'm looking at where we're going to be 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. Did Henry Fonda, when he invented the Model T, were they sitting around going, how are we gonna build this car? No, okay, they got their hands dirty, they grabbed the bull by the horns, and then they killed it. Okay, so what's the plan? Step one, okay? We're going to maximize efficiency. Number two, write this down. Number two. Step three, emulsification. Listen, you guys follow those steps? We're gonna hit our goal by the winter of 2032. Okay, what an incredible Christmas that'll be. All right, so you guys know what you're doing? No. Awesome, all right, I'm gonna hit the links. Ooh, daddy likes. Get ready to enter the Thrive Time Show. Started from the bottom, now we we started from the bottom, now we're on the top, teaching you the systems to get what we got. Cutting Dixon's on the hooks, I break down the books. Z's bringing some wisdom and the good looks. As the father of five, that's why I'm a dive. So if you see my wife and kids, please tell them hi. It's the C and Z up on your radio. And now three, two, one, here we go. We started from the bottom, now we here. All right, Thrive Nation, I'm joined here with Aaron Antis, a man who's grown uh, Shaw Homes. He and I have had the pleasure to work together over these past, I think, five years or so. And at the seven. time, seven years. And when you and I first met, uh, I believe at that point, Shaw Homes was around 19 million of sales. Uh, 15 million. 15, yep. million. 15 million of sales. Yep. And since the time you and I have met and teamed up, uh, Shaw has grown now to doing. Uh, uh, we were 142 million what? last year. So 142 decent. million. So things are going well at ShawHomes.com. And I'm recording this show specifically. Specifically for uh, all of my clients. Yeah. Now, this show is not, if you're listening out there and you're not a client of mine, it's okay. Yep. But this show is for my client and uh, my clients, plural. And I'm going to send this to my clients. And so I'm going to work with you to uh, pull as much wisdom out of your brain as possible. Okay. okay. Yep. So the topic on today's show, we have three topics. And I'm taking notes and I'll put it in the show notes so all the listeners can follow along. We have three topics I want to hit on and only three. Okay. First, the first is key performance indicators, key performance indicators. Yep. All right. The, the, the second thing I want to talk about is follow-up, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I want to talk about is follow-up, okay? So <laughs> yep. key performance indicators, follow-up, and follow-up. But I'm going to mm -hmm. talk about follow-up and follow-up. Follow-up first, I'll talk about that. Then I'll talk about key performance indicators. Then we'll follow up on the follow-up, okay? okay? So we're going to go with follow-up first. Yep. Um, you're, you have leads that come in at shawhomes.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... Um, you have built into the process, into the process uh, at Shaw Homes, that you gather objective Google reviews yes, we do. from all home buyers. Now, here's the yeah. thing is, you only if you're doing $150 million of, of sales a year, that means you'd only be selling about 450 houses a year. You know, So you're not selling uh, 5,000 homes a year. You're selling no. about 400 homes a year, 450. Yeah. So how do you make sure that your team at shawhomes.com gathers objective reviews from your actual clients? How do you make sure that they're actually doing it and they don't have a week or two or three no. where they don't get those reviews? Well, I mean, first of all, it's every customer, we have the conversation with them. It's sort of built into our process. It's not a thing that we do accidentally, or it's like, oh, right now I feel like asking them about it. It's actually scripted into our entire presentation to bring up the subject and ha ask them how their experience has been. And then um, as we're going through the process of showing them homes, we're asking them for their feedback. What'd you think of this home? How, you know, on a scale of one to 10, what did you think? Oh, it was, it was a 10, it was a nine, whatever. And so then when we're finishing up touring them through homes, it's really easy to say, hey, you said, you know, most of our homes were a nine or a 10. Um, you know, based on that, would you be willing to give us an objective Google review about what you thought about our homes? 
And they're like, absolutely. They were beautiful. So you, again, we're going to tap into your wisdom, go 90 miles an hour. You have to follow up every day. Every day. Every day. Every customer. Every day. Yep. Now, you're, there's people on your team, and I'm not attacking your team at shawhomes.com, but when I, you and I first started working together, we installed call recording, <laughs> and we installed video cameras to oh, make yeah. sure the people on your team were actually calling the leads. Yep. And following the script, oh, yeah. and they were actually saying what they were supposed to say. Yes. What did you find when you began listening to the calls every day oh. and checking the video every day, quickly and succinctly? Because I'm trying to get through into your wisdom as, as, yeah. as fast as possible. It was it was brutal, I, honestly. Listening to the phone calls, I was like, "What kind of train wreck is this?" People were literally answering our phone, going, "Hello." Instead of saying, thank you for calling Shaw Holmes, you know, it was just like answering like their personal line. And then we heard people saying crazy stuff to our customers that was not true information, inaccurate information. On the video cameras, we saw, I, I saw literally the first week, I saw a lady who was wearing flip flops. And she took her foot and like she was standing up. She set it up on the desk and started picking toe jam out of out from between her toes while a customer was standing on the other side of the desk from her. The customer nearly vomited, turned and ran out of our model. That is a true story. I saw that the first week we had video cameras. We call it the toe jam. Now, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be very blunt. And this isn't a backhanded compliment. But there was a time when you and I met where you were saying to me and not you. I don't know if you were saying it, but you were we were you were maybe vocalizing it or maybe it was just. It, the, the, your body language or whatever but when i was telling you you need to install call recording oh, no, and I listen to back. the calls yeah. every day i pushed back and watch yeah. the video every day oh yeah there was part i think at one point you were like these are adults we don't need to listen to calls every oh, day i believed or i believed in my people that they were good humans and they would only do the best things cuz i did hire great people that you know i thought they were wonderful people i thought they were honest i thought they would actually work hard and be diligent and do their job and, you know, because in my business, they're in a remote location away from our office, I couldn't see them. In so your I business, most of the employees are not in the same location as you. Right. They are okay. all in their own location away from me in a model home in different neighborhoods all over the state of Oklahoma. So I didn't know for sure what they were doing. But the moment, you know, you mentioned it, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't think we need to do that. I think they do a great job. And then I listened to, I, we started with the phones. Yes. And I listened to a couple phone calls and I was it, like, it's painful. They are not doing their job. Oh, maybe we should get the. And I want to make sure we're getting this. You follow up every day. Every day. Every day. Every but day. I mean this every single day. Every single you day. You follow up with your team. Yes, I do. And somebody might be saying, it just get, does it ever get old? Like following up with the same people about getting oh. reviews and following the script every day, you would say. I would say if you don't follow up, they're going to start with your system being in place. They're going to set about to create their own system of doing things that is not going to be your way of doing things. And all of a sudden, the train is going to come off the tracks, and it's going to get further and further. It's kind of like when you, you know, if you're flying an airplane and you're yeah. trying to go to California. Yep. It's like not using any of the instruments inside of the plane to try and fly. You know, you might be a quarter or an eighth of like a degree off when you leave Tulsa. But instead of landing in California, you're going to land somewhere in Canada. It's I just want to be very clear. Weird place. You follow up with your staff every day. And every what I day. hear from a lot of clients, I'm thinking of one client, Mr. Client, you know I'm talking about you. You're up in Canada. This is my client in Canada. And you know, because he and I have this open this with relationship where we talk about this openly at conferences. Yeah. But he's from Canada. He's a Canadian client. And he's always telling me, well, Clay, you know, I don't need to follow up every day. I mean, people on my team, they're different. And, and what happens is for about a week or two or, or a month or two, he'll start recording the calls mm -hmm. and doing a daily huddle, which we tell all of our clients to do. You want to yeah, do a we, daily huddle do as that. an action step. Mm -hmm. And he'll do it for about two months in a row. Mm -hmm. And then he'll stop because he's like, I just want to find people that are they're going to do it on their own. You'll never find those people. And, the, and that's kind of the conversation we've had over the yeah. last years. This guy's been a wonderful client in Canada. And it's hilarious because he'll call me and he'll go, I need, I need the ass. I need the ass man back in my life. I said, "What's the, who's the, this is the first time you said this to me?" I said, "Who's the ass man?" He goes, <laughs> "I, I he goes, first. I heard the interview you did with Clay Stairs, mm. where he told he said on your show that you're his ass man." I said, "What?" Gotta he said one. he was on your your show. You said you know you might not remember it, but he described you as this this nagging ass that follows up every day yeah. and that's what drives the success of claystairs.com yeah. and he said I, I need you to be that ass with me so we follow up and again this is so big second thing 
Every employee has to have key performance indicators. If you're listening right now, Absolutely. every employee has to have a number of Google reviews. They have to get a day if, if they're in an environment where that's expected. They have yep. to have a quota for how many calls they re are required to make every day. Yep. They have to have a quota for how many. In your case, you have to take photos of the homes when they're done, I and you know. have to get a video review Every time. Yeah, we did that. And your today. employees will tell you mm -hmm. that they, that the customers did not want to leave a video review. Oh, that yeah. they did not. And again, I'm not attacking my client, my, my client in Canada. He know he and I had the relationship where he, he openly comes to our conferences and likes to harass me and he'll get on the mic and he'll go, yeah, I love working with Clay. He's been an ass in my life for the last seven years. I get it. <laughs> but I'm right. saying he, he likes to tell me, well, Clay, in my industry, it's hard to get people to want to do video reviews. And his staff won't get video reviews. They oh. won't get Google reviews. And they won't call their leads. Aaron, why does everybody have to have a key performance indicator every day? A number that they're accountable for for something. Oh, yeah. Because if you set no bar, that's what they're going to live up to. Like right. If you do not have a bar that people have to live up to, they will not do anything. It's just human nature. I mean, for us, you know, we, we have to make a certain number of phone calls every day. If you don't make those phone calls, if I don't have that bar there, then when I talk to them, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, I just... I got a lot of Facebook in today, the TikTok, now, I got in. You're rocking right and, now, but what would happen if you allowed your team to not get Google reviews and not write the search engine? Because so, every, month, every month you write search engine articles. Every month we're writing search engine articles. Every month you're getting Google reviews. What would happen if you allowed your team to not write search engine articles and, and, and not get Google reviews for even like two uh, months? Oh, yeah. Well, they, they drift into a hole and they become terrible humans, honestly, that what ends up happening is they become people who start, because they have so much idle time, they start doing destructive things towards your company. Instead of like actually helping themselves help your company do better, they start doing destructive things. I've watched this over and over again, this cycle. And if you ever do start to drift away from following up with them, yep. they start to go off into this very strange place where they're doing nefarious things out of your model home. I've seen this happen numerous times where I'll have people literally running a different business out of your model home, out of my business. They and will literally be sitting there operating another business or, while I'm paying them. Or they'll take time. your company truck and drive it to a place that has no relationship to what your business needs to do during the day. That is happening. If you don't have the call recording, they're not going to follow the script. But again, I want to hammer home. I, hopefully I'm communicating. You have to follow up. Oh, you've got And then step up. two, you have to have specific items that you follow up. Now, how many people work at Shaw Homes right now? Uh, overall, about 82, something like what that. What percentage yeah. of your day is spent following up? Uh, probably 50% I think so. at this point. I yeah. think half your day is spent just following day. up saying, yeah. is it done? Yeah. Is it done? And if you oh, stop yeah. that, that people would stop working. I actually had a salesperson, funny story, I had a salesperson sitting in her model the other day. Yep. And she was eating her lunch. And she was, do she was doing it pretty aggressively. It was kind of loud. And she knows that we watch the cameras so much and we always are watching what's going on in, in our model homes. She goes, oh, I know you're watching me eat this food really loud right now, aren't you? And she turns around and looks at the camera. And, I, and she goes, I'm going to be so embarrassed if you're watching me right now. And I texted her, I'm not watching. Don't worry. <laughs> and she turns and just starts laughing. And she's like, oh, boy, you're probably going to play that recording at our next staff meeting, aren't you? And I was like, probably. Yeah, and this Probably. is, I want to make sure we're very clear. You, in your staff meetings, you play the call recordings. Oh, I play the call recordings. I play the videos. You do in the meeting. Yeah, in the meeting. And you yeah. don't feel bad about it. You tell people I you're going to do no. it. it. You tell people you're going to do it. You're not blindsiding it, it them. It actually helps them. They, it does help them. They like it yes. from the standpoint. It's kind of like, uh, it's like a, a guilty pleasure in some sense. It's like they, they like it when they get praised because they did it great. They like it when someone else isn't doing good hey, because they get to watch them. You know, recognition, right. gr grown men will die for it. Babies will cry for it. Yep. Right? It's a huge thing. So you can recognize them, and they love that part of it. But then they also like it a little bit, like in a weird way, when they're like, oh, yeah, I didn't do that right, but I could get better at that. Like they like that part of it, and then they definitely prefer to learn from watching their peers do it wrong. And, and just being able to like understand how to do it better. So, so I just want to be very clear again, uh, making make sure we're very succinct here. You, you can only expect what you inspect. 
That's you can true. only expect what you inspect, and you must follow up until you throw up or your business will blow up. Ooh, you see that? I like that. I mean, you That's gotta funny. follow up to the point of like, I don't feel good. You gotta follow up every day till you hate yourself, and then you have to follow up again. And this is how you massively grow a company. And if you want to learn more about this, Aaron Antis will be one of the featured speakers that are in at our upcoming uh, Thrive Time Show workshops. Uh, you can get those tickets at thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com. And again, if you want to grow a successful company, it's not about the acquisition of knowledge. It's about implementation. It's oh, only yeah. implementation that will change your level of compensation. So, so again, true. the three keys to success we discussed today. Step one, follow up. Mm. Step two, you got to know your key performance indicators. Every single employee has to have a quantifiable goal and merit-based pay attached with it. A quantifiable goal and some kind of merit-based pay where they have a bad payday if they are not doing a good job. And then finally, you have to follow up. You, you have to follow up. Gotta do it. And I would highly recommend that you don't hire family. Would you agree with this? You have a big staff. There I would are, agree with and that. And I'm going yeah. back to my Canadian guy. Sorry to do this to him. He's got his brother. He brings him in from time to time to work with him, his particular brother. And his brother, he always hires him when his brother can't find another job. Yeah. And so he's always, he always tells his brother, hey, you can just be my lead caller. Oh. And his brother never calls the leads. That's not good. And it creates that weird vibe. Mm -hmm. And I worked with the guy for years and years and years and years. I think we've worked with, worked with the same client in Canada for almost six years now. And it's a cycle. Yeah. His business is rocking. He's following up. Yep. He goes on a couple, conver a couple vacations. Next thing you know, it kind of drifts. His brother gets fired again. He hires him. I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, His brother comes back. He doesn't call the leads. That's rough. But it's it's you you say that you can't do that. You gotta hire you gotta hire people that are not your brother because you, you you try and hold your brother accountable, and at some point it's gonna get weird, and you're gonna have to fire your brother. And even if it's ten years down the road, Hiring, you don't want to turn it. Holding your that. brother's tough. Holding your, hold your brother accountable is tough. Holding your sister's accountable is tough. Holding your your, your husband accountable that's even r more rough. Oh, that would be a that rough that one creates too. an asexual relationship. So I encourage everybody <laughs> out there again. If you want to know how to grow a successful company, go to thrivetimeshow.com and book your tickets for our next in-person two-day interactive business workshop right there at thrivetimeshow.com. Thank you, Aaron, for your time. All I really right. do appreciate you. You bet. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. All right, Thrive Nation, on today's show, we're going to be breaking down what Robert Kiyosaki has recently been talking about. Robert Kiyosaki, the best-selling author, the New York Times best-selling author and real estate investment guru, has recently been talking more and more about octa non verba. You say, what's octa non verba? Well, one, it's Latin, so don't, don't get too concerned there, but it's octa, again, this octa non verba. What it means is, what, what it means is, is action. You're, you need to watch what people do and not what they say. That's that's the idea. Watch what somebody does and not what they say. Hi, I'm Ryan Wimpy. And I'm Rachel Wimpy, and the name of our business is Tip Top Canine. Our business is a dog training business. We help people with behavioral issues and teach their dog how to listen. When I was learning to become a dog trainer, we didn't learn anything about internet marketing or advertising or anything at all. Just, just dog training. And that's what's so great about working with Clay and his team because they do it all for us. So that we can focus on our passion, and that's training dogs. Uh, Clay and his team here, they're so enthusiastic, their energy is off the charts, never a dull moment here at Thrive. We've been working with Clay and his team for the last five months, two of which have been our biggest months ever. One, our biggest gross by 35%. Clay's helped us make anything from brochures to stickers, new business cards, new logos, scripts for phones, script for email, script for text message, scripting for everything. How I would describe the weekly meetings with uh, Clay and his team are awesome. They're so effective. It's worth every minute. Um, things get done. We'll ask for things like different flyers, and they're done before our hour is up. So it's just awesome, extremely effective. If you don't use Clay and his team, you're probably going to be pulling your hair out, or you're going to spend half of your time trying to figure out the online marketing game and producing your own flyers and marketing materials, print materials, all the stuff like that. You're really losing a lot as far as lost productivity and lost time. Not having a professional do it, it has a real sense of urgency and it actually knows what they're doing when you already have something that's your core focus that you already know how to do. You would also be missing out with all the time and financial freedom that you would have uh, working with Clay and his team. We would recommend Clay and his team to other business owners because they need to be working on their business, not just trying to figure out the online game, which is complex and changing daily. So no one has a marketing team too. Most people don't, they can't afford one, and their local 
web guy or a local person that they know probably can't do everything that a whole team and a whole floor of people can do in hours and not just weeks or months. There's a definite sense of urgency with Clay and his team. I used to have to ride other web people, um, really, I mean, really ride them to get stuff done. And stuff is done so fast here. And people, there's a real sense of urgency to get it done. It's great. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Deeds, not words. So acta non verba. Deeds, not words. Or acts, not words. Um, James, a lot of people, they, 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 they come to our business workshops uh, because they're listening to our podcast, our business, work, our business podcast, and they say, man, I want to achieve massive success. And they, they see some of the testimonials and they go, if that guy could do it, I could do it. That's kind of where it starts. I see it happen all the time, Clay. Because your desk is about two inches from mine. Right. And so people will say, oh, if, if, if that guy can do it, then I can do it. That's correct. So the two big principles I want to teach on today's show, just two principles. One is this idea of octa non verba, means acts, not words. The second concept I want to teach is that money is a magnifier. I was looking to learn uh, how to take my business, like they've said today, from being very successful to being systematic. I've got a very successful practice in three different cities, uh, make good money, uh, just want to take it to the next level um, with systems and processes to where I can drive my cars more. Paul Hood. I have been a CPA for 33 years. And what kind of um, growth have you and your great team had here over the past, let's say, five, six years? The last five, when I met you five years ago, we were doing three million. This year, we'll, be, we'll do 24 million. Which is more than, which is more than, and he's an accountant, so we're going to talk about that. So Paul introduced me to Bob because he said there's a guy that came into my office looking to raise some capital. I think that was the thing. And he needed to get some sales going. That's sales going. That's how. And so we, if we tell Paul from the accounting perspective, I'm going to pass the mic to you. You do accounting. You do accounting. Uh, why do you have to, you have to have a website that makes sense and all that branding stuff? How, how has that impacted your, your brand having websites and all those branding things in place? Well, when I met you, like most CPAs, I thought my clients only come from referrals, but we get five, 500 leads uh, in, a, in a two month period every month just off of Google. And so this is my face. This is we have 17 offices across four sta states. We have in every country, in every state. But this is this is our face. Like like what you were, it's visual, and it all and it also us to say why we're different. Uh, that about us from there is spectacular, and it just uh, it's it's an industry that has changed. We're we're modifying it. We're going to we're going to a we offer our services in in a a subscript model uh, to where it's all inclusive, and it's just been awesome will determine the level of success so success in business is not, not what you know how to do it's actually doing it and so the thing that i would tell you is stop it get get a freak like this guy and let him go out after it insane because then you can be doing what you do well and and take that that time and invest in something else on top of that on top of that as contacts and i'm not this is not i don't i don't get anything for selling his just telling you what he's done for us so that we could focus and then he'll come in and and i'll say you know i you know i think i've got it all and he listens for five minutes and he makes and he makes one and i want to slap myself in the face well why didn't i think about that's idiotic um but they're sick freaks they just get it get it done I don't know. I think it's because it's merit-based pay in their office. So if the people here, like they get paid. So if we were taking on your account account and someone else to do this, but if you hired a different marketing company, I'm just giving you best practices. You want to make sure that they win when you win. So like in our office, if we, we grow Dave Acey's podcast, that benefits our company, company to the extent it benefits them, but we actually benefit if they benefit. Does that make sense to you? I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. So on today's show, I'm going to just hammer uh, testimonials. So you can see people that, that heard about the conference through a podcast or through a friend or whatever. And they had a business that was stagnant. It was, it was stuck. It wasn't growing. It wasn't thriving. It was just surviving, right? 
It was stagnant. It was stuck. It wasn't growing. It was just stagnant. It was stuck. It was just, it wasn't thriving. It was surviving. And they, they heard about the podcast. They heard about the conference. They heard about the success stories. And they came to the conference. That's that step one. They came to the conference. And by the way, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com, you can name your price for all the workshops I do. We want to make it affordable for everybody. So they came out to the in-person two-day workshop. They went to Thrive Time Show. They requested a ticket. We called them, got them their ticket. Then... James, we, we, they, we interviewed them after the conference and we said, how was it? Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy. I'm originally from Tulsa, born and raised here. I've definitely learned a lot about life design and making sure the business serves you. Um, the goal setting, while it's not like, it's somewhat basic stuff, making sure we have different goals for every part of your life is super important. Also the linear workflow, the linear workflow for us and getting everything out on paper and documented is really important. Um, like we have workflows that are kind of all over the place. So the having linear workflow and seeing that mapped out on multiple different boards uh, is pretty awesome. That's really helpful for me. The atmosphere here is awesome. I definitely just stared at the walls, figuring out how to make my facility look like this place. This place rocks. The, it's invigorating. The walls are super. Um, it's just very cool. The atmosphere is cool. The people are nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool place to be. Very good learning atmosphere. I literally want to model it and steal everything that's here at this facility and uh, basically create it just on our business side. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. And they said, oh my gosh, I learned so much about business. I learned about the workflows and the marketing and the search engine optimization and the branding and the, the hiring and the checklists and all this, uh, the, account, the bookkeeping, every, the search engine optimization, the online advertising, the social media. I learned it all. Woo! Yes, I learned it. However, it's acts, not words. Octa non verba. So James, if somebody comes to a conference and they learn all this stuff, but they don't apply it, what happens? Nothing happens. But there is a certain group of people, not our listeners, who run around acquiring information and they don't apply it. Those are the worst types. So this is what happens is Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author, he says that knowledge without application is meaningless. Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author of Think and Grow Rich. Hi, I'm Aaron Antis with Shaw Homes. I first heard about Clay through a mortgage lender here in town who had told me what a great job he had been doing for them. And I actually noticed he was driving a Lamborghini all of a sudden, so I was willing to listen. Uh, in my career, I've sold a little over $800 million in real estate. So honestly, I thought I kind of knew everything about marketing and um, homes. And then I met Clay and my perception of what I knew and what I could do definitely changed. After doing 800 million in sales over a 15 year career, I really thought I knew what I was doing. I've been managing a large team of salespeople for the last 10 years here with Shaw Homes. And I mean, we've been a company that's been in business for 35 years. We've become one of the largest builders in the Tulsa area, and uh, that was without Clay. So when I came to know Clay, I really thought, man, there's not much more I need to know, but I'm willing to listen. The interesting thing is our internet leads from our website has actually in a four month period of time has gone from somewhere around 10 to 15 leads in a month to 180 internet leads in a month. Just from the few things that he's shown us how to implement that I honestly probably never would have come up with on my own. So uh, I got a lot of good things to say about the system that Clay put in place with us. And it's just been an incredible experience. I am very glad that we met and had the opportunity to work with Clay. So the interaction with the team and with Clay on a weekly basis is honestly very enlightening. One of the things that I love about Clay's perspective on things is that he doesn't come from my industry. He's not somebody who's in the home building industry. I've listened to all the experts in my field. Our company has paid for me to go to seminars, international builder shows, 
all kinds of places where I've had the opportunity to learn from the experts in my industry. But the thing that I found working with Clay is that he comes from such a broad spectrum of working with so many different types of businesses that he has a perspective that's difficult for me to gain because I get so entrenched in what I do, I'm not paying attention to what other leading industry experts are doing. And Clay really brings that perspective for me. It is very valuable time every week when I get that hour with him. From my perspective, the reason that any business owner who's thinking about hooking up with Thrive needs to definitely consider it is because the results that we've gotten in a very short period of time are honestly monumental. It has really exceeded my wildest expectation of what he might be able to do. I came in skeptical because I'm very pragmatic and as I've gone through the process over just a few months, I've realized it's probably one of the best moves we've ever made. I think a lot of people probably feel like they don't need a business or marketing consultant because they maybe are a little bit prideful and like to think they know everything. I know that's how I felt coming in. I mean, we're a big company that's definitely one of the largest in town. And so we kind of felt like we knew what we were doing. And I think for a lot of people, they let their ego get in the way of listening to somebody that might have a better or different perspective than theirs. I would just really encourage you if you're thinking about working with Clay. I mean, the thing is, it's month to month. Go give it a try and see what happens. I think in the 35 year history of Shaw Homes, this is probably the best thing that's happened to us. And I know if you give them a shot, I think you'll feel the same way. I know for me, the thing I would have missed out on if I didn't work with Clay is I would have missed out on literally an 1800% increase in our internet leads. Going from 10 a month to 180 a month, that would have been a huge financial decision to just decide not to give it a shot. I would absolutely recommend Clay Clark to anybody who's thinking about working with somebody in marketing. I would skip over anybody else you were thinking about and I would go straight to Clay and his team. I guarantee you're not going to regret it because we sure haven't. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Knowledge without application is meaningless. So James, if somebody comes to a conference and they learn all this and they don't apply it, that doesn't ma matter because the idea is octa non verba, acts not words. So if people come to this conference, you're gonna see testimonies of people who came to the conference and they say, wow, I had no idea that this was possible. And then you're gonna see people, I'm gonna show you testimonies of people that applied what we taught them. People that have grown uh, their accounting practice. Now, by the way, an, an accounting practice, this is not someone who has invented the concept of accounting. There's, there's other accounting, that, this just in, there are other accountants. Uh, my business, it consists, I'm a CPA and a financial advisor, and uh, we're very successful. I wanted to go from successful to systematic. I wanted to learn systems and processes so that uh, the business can run without me. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. But this person, they, they came to the conference, they learned about how to scale their company. I taught them how to create a subscription model for their accounting as opposed to doing the traditional accounting model. And they've grown the company from $3 million to over $20 million. Wow. Then you're going to see a testimonial, a, a success story of a home builder who grew the home building business from 15 million to over 150 million, a home builder. And by the way, this just did, there are other home builders, but this home builder grew from 15 million to 150 million of sales. That's life changing, Clay. You're gonna hear about a dog trainer who came to this event. Now let me tell you about the dog trainer. He came to this event and uh, he had a wonderful uh, business that was just, it was stagnant, it was stuck. It wasn't, wasn't able to grow, he, great guy. Uh, knew how to train dogs, but he didn't have a no brainer offer. He didn't have a website that was optimized. He didn't have branding that made sense. He didn't have a one sheet. 
I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. See? So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. So we really just want to thank you Clay and thank you Vanessa for everything you've done, everything you've helped us with. We love you guys. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. He didn't have branding that made sense. He didn't have a one sheet, didn't have a pricing structure that worked, didn't have a linear workflow, didn't have an office culture environment, didn't have decoration in the office that would make people want to work there, didn't understand the process of hiring, inspiring, training and retaining great people, didn't have a, a, a performa, didn't know how to franchise, didn't know how to license. But what we do, James, is we, we take people in, they come to the conference, they learn this stuff and they go, could you teach me how to do it? And I say, absolutely. Now folks, here's the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. My job is to make big obstacles seem small. What? Here's the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. It, uh, I, my job is to make big obstacles seem small. Uh, favorite aspect is probably just how entertaining it is. Um, and the fact that I pick up one or two or three things every time I come to take my business to the next level. Well, if people are People are missing out on basically a plan, a guaranteed plan, pretty much if you're willing to work it, to be successful. Most people, I think everybody should attend one of these workshops at least once because you don't know what you don't know. And we're not taught to be successful in school. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. A lot of people, they have a fear or a phobia of, of, of scaling their business or building the processes. They feel like they don't know what to do or they, they, need, they need kind of a coach or a mentor to guide them down the path. And so on today's show, you're going to, to see people that came to a conference, step one. Step two, we taught them how to, uh, they, how to apply the, these principles at the conference. Step three, they hired us to help them scale their company. Step four, you're going to hear their success stories. Now, James, money is a magnifier. We have a little bit of news for you guys. It's, um, it's now what, May 31st at right. 621. You've been right. closed for 20 minutes? Right. No, it's now June, so let's run the numbers for May. Let's run see what he's got. totals, 102,837. What's last year to date? 102,837 this year? And last year was 60,667. Whoa! Coming out of the weeds now! <laughs> Boom, baby! Boom! Out of the weeds, on the pavement. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Or what, what does that mean? Because we're going to show you, we're going to share with you some stories today of an accountant who grew a business from three million dollars to twenty plus million dollars, of a home builder who grew a business from fifteen million to one hundred and fifty million, from, of, of a dog trainer that was able to scale his business from a stagnant business to fifteen plus locations to grow the business that was perpetually stuck at four hundred thousand ish, grow that into a, a million dollar plus annual revenue. This year's sales for this week. So this is the same week last year. 
Do you see the difference? Look. What is that? I, I can't really tell. One is... Look. Michael, can you, can we just, just, I just want to get it, th Jason, can you kind of pull this in maybe, just so you can see it, let's kind of pull okay. it that way, yeah, let's get the see. length, that's more of a, I can't tell without the length, I, it's see. hard to tell. Look at that, okay. So that was last year's sales. This is last year's sales, and the total is a mere $4,711.73, <laughs> same week this year, 2015. The total is, read it, Michael. Uh, $11,313.50. Oh, what? boom. What? There it is. Yes. What? Awesome. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today, I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's This kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours on the day to day. He does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, gra and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up and he teaches people a 13 step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like, Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and, and that's what I like most about him. He's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't, his highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for three months and you have $350,000 of bills you've got to pay and uh, we have no accounts receivable. He helped us navigate that. Um, and of course we were conservative enough that we could afford to, to take that on for a period of time. But it was, uh, anyways, great man. I'm very imp impressed with him. So Clay, thank you for everything you're doing. And um, I encourage you if, you, if you haven't ever worked with Clay, work with Clay, he's gonna help magnify you. And there's nobody I have ever met that has the ability to work as hard as he does. He probably sleeps four, maybe six hours a day and literally the rest of the time he's working and he can outwork everybody in the room every single day and, and he loves it. So anyways, um, this is Charles Kola with Kola Fitness. Thank you, Clay. Um, and anybody out there that's wanting to work with Clay, um, it's a great, great uh, opportunity to ever work with him. So you guys have a blessed one. This is Charles Kola. We'll see you guys. I learned at the Academy, King, Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. 
Watch what a person does, not what they say. Uh, when, I, when I say money is a magnifier, James, what does that mean? It means if you're already a great person, the money will allow you to do greater things. And if you're not a great person, you're going to do things that are just, you're going to do more of the bad stuff. Right. Because that's because money's a magnifier. That's what it is. Right. So if you're a, a greedy, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, a greedy bastard, because that would, that would infer <laughs> that, that, that you just because you don't have a father in your life, that means you're greedy. I'm not going to say that. That doesn't make any sense. But if you're somebody who's, who's greedy, you know, the Bible states, for the love of money is the root of all evil. So it's for the love of money is the root of all evil. Not, not money itself. Um, it's not, the money is just a tool. And people that um, are obsessed with money itself become a tool of the money. Hi, my name is Josh Spurl from Spurl & Associates Chartered Professional Accountants based out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I started, I, I met Clay at a conference, at his conference in Tulsa in June of 2018. Started working with the coaching program shortly after there. You know, the experience has been great. You know, you really have a partner in the grind. You know, most people, uh, I like to say most people are wrong about most things about business most of the time. And uh, it's, it's very difficult for entrepreneurs to connect with other entrepreneurs who actually know what they're talking about when it comes to business. But Clay and his team really does understand. You know, the tangible uh, improvements that we've seen is we're up over 50% starting since starting with the coaching program. And, uh, you know, you know, they're helping to help business owners create time freedom and financial freedom. And I know what you're gonna think. You're gonna say, what the heck are you gonna do with your time freedom and financial freedom when you're in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, that's the most northerly city in North America with a million people. You know, we're probably just sitting in our igloos uh, hoping for some television, but I'll give you an idea of what we're doing in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So over here we have Sandra and we have Emma. Emma, say hello. <laughs> Emma really likes any video. So let's give it a let's see what actually the time freedom and financial freedom can do for you in Edmonton. So believe it or not, we have a beach here, guys. Uh, and I'll take you on the little tour of Edmonton's beach. Now it's not what you Americans are gonna think of as a beach. This is a this is a northern beach. here but here here is the the northern beach complete with waves we got 30 degree weather inside here oh sorry 30 that's 90 for you guys over there I gotta do the I gotta do the translation the map in my head and we even got a zip line that we can ride down here and this is what we're doing with our time freedom and financial freedom in Edmonton Alberta Canada thanks to the Thrive Time team thanks very much guys I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. But money's just a tool. Money's, just, money's like a hammer, money's like a tire, money's like a sock, money's like a car. You could use a car for bad things, you could use a hammer for bad things. A lot of people could, you, know, you could kill someone with a hammer. You could kill somebody with a sock, I guess, if you wanted to. You could kill someone with a tire if you wanted to. But I mean, there's a lot of creative thoughts going through people's minds right now. But the, <laughs> the thing is, is that money is just a, a, a magnifier. And the first Timothy chapter 6, 10 reads, for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And so what happens is, is that money is a magnifier. And so if you're somebody who's, who's greedy and nefarious and will throw somebody under the bus to make an extra dollar, money's gonna allow you to be more of a greedy 
personality type that will throw somebody under the bus for a dollar. That's what money will allow you to do. The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for Business Coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but this come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in, in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we, we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like I said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we were, we were in a rut and we didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in um, but Thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into it. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline. Um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now. Um, without their help. I learned at the Academy in King, Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Now, if you're a grateful person, if you're a kind person, and James, that's why we only work with grateful kind of people. That's why when we share these testimonies of wonderful, great kind of people, it's, it's, a, it's a blasty blast. So James, that's what's fun about capturing these, these success stories, is that real people at the peak of their success are explaining to you how they did it. And luckily, James, we're able to actually gather footage of some of these people at the beginning 
when they first came to a conference and then at the peak when they achieved massive success. So James, I am, I am fired up for people to watch this, this testimonial, but let's make sure I'm being a good teacher here. The two concepts I want to teach you. One, for anybody out there, it's called acta non verba, which in Latin means acts, not words. That's the idea, acts, not words, okay? That's what it means. And then I want to teach the second concept, which again, money is a magnifier. I learned at the academy in Kings Point in New York, Octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. James, in your own words, what, what does it mean? You say octa non verba. You go, I, I don't understand what you're saying. You say, well, it's Latin. It means, well, in your mind, what does it mean? It means you can't just talk about it. You have to be about it. That's how it works. And somebody says, well, Clay, I can't afford coaching with you guys. Well, good news. We only, we only take on 160 clients, so, you know might not be available. Um, but we do have scholarship pricing. Now, this is how I make money. This is the, the this is the secret sauce that allows me to be the boss. One, I make the big obstacles seem small. And two, a lot of my clients, I get a small percentage of the growth. So James, why would I be so motivated to help somebody who, you know, is, is struggling and they're stagnant? Why would I want to invest the time for my own, I mean, if you take the altruism out of it, the fact that I grew up poor and I want to help people be successful, why would I want to help somebody to scale a company if I get 2%? We are joined by none other than my brother from another mother, Mr. Josh, the founder of Living Water Irrigation. Mr. Josh, well, welcome on to the show, my, my friend. How are you? I am awesome, Clay. How are you, sir? Uh, well, I'm excited for the listeners to get to know more about you. Could you share... Uh, the name of your company, a little bit more about what you guys do at Living Water Irrigation, where the name comes from? Absolutely, positively. So uh, Living Water Irrigation, the most important part of that to me is John 738. So it's mentioned in the gospel a number of times, uh, where the living water, but our specific scripture that we drew our name from is John 738. It says, whoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow through him. We have a very distinct vision as a company on who we are and what we want to do. And I believe that I was put here to go make some money to give it away. So. And I, um, I'm not going to ask you uh, for the specific details but of, of your career and how you started the business uh, as far as a you know, linear timeline, but how long has this particular business been around? Uh, we've been around just two years, sir. Two years. And you guys, uh, we first met. How did we first meet? Uh, I came in and y'all started coaching me over the Thrive Time, over Thrive 15. And uh, what, do you remember when that was approximately and, and how you first heard about us? So it would have been October or November of 17. October or November of, of, of 17. Yes, sir. And in terms of your uh, growth as a company, how, have you, how much have you grown this year? Uh, so this year we're up 450% year over year. So now that you're implementing this program, you're getting more calls, right? Are you getting more calls? Absolutely. Sales are going up. You're gathering Absolutely. reviews from your real customers, adding content to, your, to, your, to the website, adding a gallery of work. Uh, so I'm going to actually take a minute and make you really uncomfortable, Clay. Nice. So when we started with y'all, it was awesome. We had a little company, just me and one dude and one little van. Yeah. And uh, 17 was great. I ate more than ramen noodles, but not much more. Right. Um, 18 was really good. We started to implement the systems, got start here, got the boom book, went to a couple conferences and said, okay, I'm going to buy in. I'm going to sell out. We went to the coaching, got coached by Marshall and Victoria and started to implement as opposed to just listen to actually be doers. It's in James. It says, don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers as well. Mm. And so we implemented scripts. We implemented systems. We implemented checklists. We implemented um, a pro forma for quoting and all these things that you talk about. Yeah. And so just as a real person, and I'm real, I promise you, there's a bunch of Josh Wilsons out there. Yeah. Like I'm a famous baseball player and football player. Oh, wow. And a gospel singer. Oh, oh, oh wow. But this Josh Wilson yeah. just digs ditches for a living. But I just want to say thank you. Standing here for all the systems, I encourage everybody out there, go pick up Start Here. Go pick up the Boom Book. The stuff you hear on this show it actually sincerely works. I learned at the Academy in Kings Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say. Why would I want to help somebody to scale a company if I get 2%? Because when they grow, 
then you win too. Right. It's a it's a win win. It's called shalom. Look it up, folks. The shalom. It's a biblical concept. The idea of a win win. It's not a zero sum negotiation. Okay. If you're out there and you're you're a, a decent person, you have a soul, you want to create a shalom relationship, a win win relationship with your partner. So I make more as my clients make more. That's how that works. It's a win win kind of thing. Uh, so that's that's the idea. And, and again, James, people can go to thrivetimeshow.com. They can request a ticket. We let them name their price, uh, and we do these conferences every two months. Every two months, we do a business conference. And you've you've met these people, James. I do, and you know what? I've met them when they came in, and the, and their business is struggling. And then I've seen how they've transformed after a few months. It's like getting a haircut. You know, when you go in and you look like <laughs> real dirty, and you come out and you look like the top of the world. And money is a magnifier. And acta non. Verba, this idea that acts, not words, okay? It's all about action and gaining traction. It's not about just learning new concepts because knowledge without application is meaningless, to quote the great Napoleon Hill. James, you're a beautiful man. You you, you, you smell terrific. I can't wait for people to see you at our in-person workshops. Again, folks, get those tickets at thrivetimeshow.com, thrivetimeshow.com. They're two days. They're interactive. We open up the doors at 7 a.m. We go until about, about 3 p.m. each day. We do a 30-minute teaching sprint, a 15-minute Q&A, Se uh, session and then we break and then we do 30 minutes of training 15 minute Q&A and then we break and then 30 minutes of training and then 50 so you're going to learn branding, marketing, search engine, all these things and then James we have helicopter rides we do the helicopter rides from time to time we have, I think we're roasting a pig at this next. I'm not sure when you're going to hear this podcast, folks, but we have a, we're roasting a pig. We're giving away cash prizes. We're giving away, it is a, it is a blasty blast, folks. It's like the opposite of business college. It truly is business school without the BS. James, again, I, I, you're almost like a benefit we should add to the package when people go to thrivetimeshow.com. It's like, and you get to meet James. So get those tickets again, folks, at thrivetimeshow.com. James, I really do appreciate you joining me today. And uh, folks, again, get those tickets at thrivetimeshow.com. I'll just leave people with these words. Watch what a person does, not what they say. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. So this is my old van and our old school marketing, and this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing, and this is our new team. We went from four to 14, and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past, and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. Whoa. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the world's highest rated and most reviewed business workshops because we teach you what you need to know to grow. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered.
The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get-rich-quick, walk-on-hot-coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 Auto Auction. I want you to Google Elephant in the Room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same systems that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. And now you may be thinking, what does it actually cost to attend an in-person two-day interactive Thrive Time Show business workshop? Well, good news. The tickets are $250 or whatever price that you can afford. What? Yes, they're $250 or whatever price you can afford. I grew up without money, and I know what it's like to live without money. So if you're out there today and you want to attend our in-person two-day interactive business workshop, all you got to do is go to thrivetimeshow.com to request those tickets. And if you can't afford $250, we have scholarship pricing available to make it affordable for you. Whoa. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Harvard Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Radio Show. Today I'm broadcasting from Phoenix, Arizona, not Scottsdale, Arizona. They're closed, but they're completely different worlds. And uh, we have a special guest today. Uh, the definition of intelligence is if you agree with me, you're intelligent. And so this gentleman is very intelligent. I've done this show before also. But very seldom do you find somebody who lines up on all counts. And so Mr. Clay Clark, he's a friend of a good friend, Eric, Eric Trump. But we're also talking about money, bricks, and how screwed up the world can get in a few and a half hour. So Clay Clark is a very intelligent man. And there's so many ways we could take this thing. But I thought uh, since you and Eric are close, Trump, what were you saying about what Trump can't, what Donald, who is my yeah. age, and I can say or cannot say. What, well, I have to, first of all, I have to honor you, sir. I want to show you what I did to one of your books here. There's all a right. guy by the name of Jeremy Thorne, who was my boss at the time. I was 19 years old, working at Faith Highway. I had a job at Applebee's, Target, and DirecTV. And he said, have you read this book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? And I said, no. And uh, my father, may he rest in peace, um, he didn't know these financial principles. So I started reading all of your books and uh, really devouring your books. And I went from being an employee to self-employed to the business owner to the investor. And I owe a lot of that to you. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you thank you so much for allowing me to, to, to achieve success. And then I'll tell you all about Eric Trump. But I just want to tell you, thank you, sir, for changing my life. Well, not only that, Clay, you know, thank you, but you've become an influencer. You know, more than anything else, you've evolved into an influencer where your word has more and more power. So that's why I uh, congratulate you on becoming. Because as you know, there's a lot of fake influencers out there, too, or bad influencers. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you and I agree so much. And thanks for reading my books. Yeah. That's, that's the greatest thrill for me today. Not a thrill, but recognition is when people, young men especially, come up and say, I read your book, changed my life, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I learned at the Academy, King, King's Point in New York, octa non verba. Watch what a person does, not what they say.